Hi, this is Frank. I was wondering if there was a big difference between the Chameleon F-Loop 2.0, 3.0 and the AL705 magnetic loop antennas. Chameleon has released a new F-Loop 3.0 which has similar specifications as the 2.0 but in a smaller package. In this video, we will compare the F-Loop 2.0 and the AL705 using Whisper on 20 meter band. Compare the receive bandwidth, look at the tuning capacitors, how they are connected, and a quick comparison of using a magnetic loop indoors versus a fan dipole. So sit back and enjoy the comparison. For the whisper test, both antennas are connected to an antenna switch, then to an IC705, which is set at 500 milliwatts on the 20 meter band. You will see a dozen comparison maps over the span of two days. This is by no means a professional comparison of the two antennas' performance, but is simply for curiosity. So this is with uh, the AL705 on 20 meters. We see the narrow bandwidth that it provides. I'm going to switch to the Chameleon F-Loop. And we immediately see that the bandwidth is wider compared to the 705. I'm going to switch back to the AL705. See narrower bandwidth. Back to the F-Loop. So, Roger, there, Roger, Vinny, and you got the so there's a difference. The loop size of the chameleon is longer, bigger in diameter. So then back to the AL705, you can clearly see there's a difference with the smaller loop size. Overall, both antennas performed well. And initially, I was expecting the F-Loop to outperform the AL705. But these results showed that the AL705 is very much capable. While the AL705 SWR was around 1.2 to 1, it sometimes went over 2 to 1 and also seemed to fluctuate with direct sunlight. So I had to retune it 4 or 5 times during these tests. Also, the AL705 used to be affected by the wind. As the loop wobbled, it was reflected in the SWR. So that is why I added a PVC pipe to hold the loop straight. As for the Chameleon F loop, it remained stable all the time in the same conditions. So which is better? My personal choice for this comparison is the Chameleon F-Loop, either an older 2.0 or the newer 3.0 because they have similar specifications. The F-Loop provides a wider bandwidth. It is easier to tune and did not fluctuate with direct sunlight or the wind. At the same time, the AL705 could perform as well on Whisper but did require occasional retuning. 
In this F-Loop 2.0, the internal capacitor is a dual gang 10 to 365 picofarad. The SO239 connectors are connected to the outer shield of the coax. Using the toggle switch in the B position, the capacitor gangs are connected in series to achieve an effective capacitance of 5 to 182 picofarad, with twice the voltage rating of a single gang. The tuning mechanism uses a 621 planetary reduction drive and is very pleasing to operate. In this AL705, the internal capacitor is a 10 to 313 picofarad. The SO239 connectors are connected to the center pin. Tuning with a 1 to 1 ratio can be very difficult at times. That is why we added a custom 6 to 1 reduction gear and 3D printed the related parts. While you may be tempted to ask me questions about this setup, it was a long process of measuring, 3D printing multiple times until everything fits together. So the only information I can really give you are these videos and pictures to inspire you on your own customization. Operating a magnetic loop indoors in a house, apartment may sound convenient, but the main issues I have found are reduced signal strengths and local noise. Surprisingly, sometimes, the loop could perform as well on reception as my dipole because I could change the orientation of the loop, but most of the time using a loop indoors is a compromise. The best performance I had was outside, in a park, or at the top of a mountain. Well, this was an interesting series of tests. It took several hours to make this video. If you liked it, click the like button. I would like to see what are your comments and experiences with boat antennas. I invite you to leave your comments down below. That's it for me for today. Thanks for watching and 73.